Portugal is in the west of the Iberian Peninsula. Porto is in the north of Portugal, on the estuary of the river Douro. Earlier Porto was the industrial city of Portugal. In Lisbon Portugal was ruled, in Coimbra was studied and in Porto was worked. A good starting point for the walking tour is the church tower Torre dos Clericos. It's the highest church tower in Portugal and a landmark of Porto. From the top of the tower there is a beautiful view over the city. In recent years Porto has turned into a wonderful tourist destination, with its picturesque old town, the promenade along the banks of the Douro under the impressive Ponte Luis I, the long promenade along the Douro estuary and the endless beach promenade along the Atlantic coast, Porto is now worth to be visited more than only one day. The culinary diversity, the history of port wine, many historic buildings and the famous azulejos framed by the hospitality of the Portuguese complete the experience. The with the tower associated church Igreja dos Clericos can be visited. Not far from the tower is the park Jardim da Cordoaria. It is worth looking at the strange grown alley of trees. A road further is the Igreja dos Carmelitas. The main attraction of this church are the beautiful azulejos of the outer walls. On the way back to the Torre dos Clericos is another landmark portals. The Livreria Lelo Irmão is one of the most beautiful bookstores in the world. Downhill it goes to the Praça da Libertad with its monumental buildings. There is also the City Hall of Porto, the Camara Municipal. Behind the town hall is the church Igreja da Trinidad. From 
here the path leads to the market Mercado do Bolhão. This market is already getting a little bit old. One of the most beautiful facades has the shop A Perola do Bolhão. It is located on the way to the famous Café Majestic. In this café you should definitely plan a break. The interior is from the past and the coffee is excellent. <laughs> The trip continues along the facades towards the church Igreja Santo Ildefonso, which is decorated with beautiful azulejos. A few steps further on is the Teatro Nacional São João. From there it goes down to the train station Estação Ferroviária de Porto São Bento, known for its beautiful azulejos inside. Next to the train station is the beautiful facade of the Igreja dos Congregados of 1703. Up the hill it goes to the Cathedral of Porto. From the cathedral it's not far to the top of the bridge Ponte Dom Luís I from 1886, one of the most popular postcard motives of Porto. From here you have a wonderful view down the river to the tourist waterfronts. 
Left are the port wine cellars and on the right is the old town with many little restaurants. Down it goes to the Palacio da Bolsa, the old stock exchange palace and to the Mercado Ferreira Borges. The former market hall is now a cultural center. Next is the river walk below the bridge Don Luis I, where many traditional restaurants invite to a meal. Porto offers many typical dishes, traditional seafood, suckling pig called Letao and the traditional Francesinha, which is a toast with cheese, ham and sauce. For dessert I recommend the famous and delicious Pasteis de Nata. A visit to Porto is rounded with a boat cruise on the Douro.
To relax from visiting the city, you can make an evening walk along the riverbank to the estuary of the Douro and the long promenade along the Atlantic Ocean. The smell of seawater and the sound of the waves relaxes the soul. In the night you have a beautiful view of Porto from the bridge Don Luis Primeiro. You don't want to leave this beautiful city.